and welcome to this video tutorial on publishing a finished website from Serif Web Plus. Publishing the site means you're converting the site from a Web Plus document that's active and that you can edit into a website that could be uploaded to the World Wide Web. So you're turning the pages into HTML. You don't have to publish your site onto the, onto the web for real, but you need to publish the site offline into a folder so that it could be published. And you need to do this whether you're working at pass, merit or distinction. The first thing that I need to remember to do before I publish my pages is to make sure that I've named them. So down the side in my Sherlock Holmes website you can see all the pages that I've got. And if I right click on a page and go page properties, it gives me a page name there but also the file name. Now I need to make sure the file name of each page makes it clear what it is that the page is about. Now the exception is the home page. The home page needs to be left as index HTML because that's the page that we recognize as the home page. So that can stay as it is. But the rest of the pages, if I go page properties on my second page, books, you see books is set up as page two HTML. So I'm going to change the name of that file so that it's books dot html you must leave the dot html on the end or it won't export or publish properly so I change that one to books html and I'm going to do it with films now and change that one films dot html and I'm going to pause the video while I change the other two file names. Now you've seen how it's done. And then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've now renamed all of my pages via the page properties. And you can see, now if I go to that, for instance, my last page is called that. It's important that you know that when you change the file name, you can't put a space in. It needs to be one word or word underscore instead of space if you want more than one word in there. So when that's done, I'm now ready to publish the site. So if I now go to File, Publish Site, and what I want to do is to publish to a disk folder. So I'm going to go Publish to Disk Folder, and it will give you a choice of the folder that you're going to put the website into. Now you need to create a new folder, and that needs to be in your user area in a sensible place in your OCR National folder. So I'm going to click Choose Folder. And for me, I'm actually going to use my desktop, but you need to use your own user area. I'm going to click Make New Folder, and that appears there. Okay, and what I'm going to do, in fact, I'm going to go to Desktop, Make New Folder, and I'm going to call it um, 221B Website, and click OK. And then it gives me an option there of the pages that I want to publish. You can see that's where it's going to be published on the desktop in that folder. And I think the best thing to do is just make sure that every page is checked. So publish all pages didn't seem to work then. So I'm just going to click all of the pages so it includes all of them. It's very important that you do that. And then when, I, when that's done, I click OK. And sorry for work for a few seconds and then it gives me an option that that I can view the site in the browser view the URL or the files in Explorer one thing I should have said is obviously make sure test it thoroughly and make sure that it all works properly before you publish it right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the finished one looks like here on my desktop is my 221B website folder that I've just created and if I open it you can see what I've got I've got my index, films, feedback, books. Those are the pages that I renamed. And I would make sure that this folder was put inside the folder with my website resources. So it was easy for somebody to navigate and edit if they wanted to work on the site themselves. So that is something you need to do whether you're working at pass, merit or distinction. So remember to rename your pages first Make sure that you create the folder in, the, in your user area and give it a sensible name and then make sure that you, that you include this folder in the same place that you've put your website images and resources folder.